Sup guys, Overdog here, and this is part 4 of Linear Voyage Defy Week. As usual, links gonna be in description, but follow them at your own risk. And we're gonna start with some changes. First of all, the deadline for this week has been extended by two days. And now the deadline for completing the task is July 6, 11.59 p.m. Eastern Time. And as always, you will have additional couple of days to claim your points. So for this part, we got Cashmere, Mass Protocol, and Metal Swap to complete. But I will also show two applications on Linea who are running their own campaigns separate from Linea Voyage. And we're gonna start with the Cashmere here, where we have the biggest change probably. And I'm gonna quote from the Discord. We would like to announce that all users who successfully execute any Cashmere task will be recognized as having completed all tasks. For example, after requesting USDC from the faucet, you can deposit to the Cashmere Linear Pool with 0.3 ETH fee, and all Cashmere requests will be considered as valid. So now what we need to do, we go to the faucet, here we select Linear Testnet, input your wallet address, and request 1 TUSDC. After that, we're gonna open the Cashmere application and we need to go to pools. And here we need to find the pool on Linear. That should be the one, right? Yeah, that's the only one. As you can see, my one USDC have arrived. And for USDC, they have their own contract address. So the USDC is from different applications not gonna work here and we just need to add liquidity let's check the gas we need to approve this first gas is still very high but it's manageable Yeah, as you can see, for adding liquidity, the gas is almost at 1 ETH. We'll also go ahead and speed this up to complete it faster. Okay, transaction was confirmed. Now let's refresh my pools. Okay, my pools. Yes, we got that in the pool and on the next update, all points uh, from the cashmere tasks should be credited. Okay, moving on to mass protocol. I actually tested yesterday if the deposit tasks that I had issues previously worked, and it did, but we're gonna deposit again nevertheless. As always, connecting the wallet if it's not connected. Make sure that you're on linear. For the deposit function, we go here for deposit slash withdrawal. So here we can use ETH, USDC, and USDT. There is also a faucet of uh, USDC that supposedly give one USDC, I believe. But I suggest just using ETH because even though you can find these versions of USDCs and USDTs in different applications, you will need to do an additional swap probably. And with the current gas, it's just not worth it. It's just better to use the ETH in my opinion. So I'll just go ahead and deposit some ETH. All right. Okay, transaction was confirmed on MetaMask, but this window is lagging a bit. I'll wait a little bit and then try to refresh or open it in the second tab and we'll see if we get the sign-in request right away. Okay, I waited five minutes. The signing request doesn't pop. I think we should refresh this. And assuming we put in the same amount of ETH, that should take us to the signing request right away. But I'm not sure, to be honest. Yeah, signing request. Okay, signing. This has been submitted and now you can go to transfer records and about one minute later transfer was completed and you can go to completed transfers and check all of your previous transactions here. So this is deposit task. Next one is going to be trading task. Description states addresses that successfully placed and closed an order on spot trading or mass 
convert page. I think doing mass convert is just easier. So I would prefer this one. We just need to set linear test net to linear test net. Then I will do some ETH into the version of USDC. Okay, 0 0.05 into USDC, preview conversion. Let's try to submit. Signature request. Sign in. Order created. Please check trading history for the order status. There is a button for trading history. Order history. Status is settled. However, I'm not 100% sure this is going to be enough because in quest it states place and close an order. Obviously, if you do in the market order, you cannot close it because it's going to be executed right away. So if that doesn't work, we need to do a limit order in this case. For this one, the process is pretty much the same. The only difference here is that you need to set the price. So if you don't want it to execute right away, and if you're also doing ETH into USDC, you effectively sell an ETH. So you need to put a higher price so it won't be executed right away. I'll put in 1970 when the actual price is around 1960. So I can go ahead and close it right after. Sign in. Okay. Now, because it's limit order and it hasn't been settled yet, you can find it in open trades, not in order history. And there is a button to cancel this one. So we can click on that. And it gives us another signature request. We sign in that and boom, order is canceled. But then we need to actually withdraw also because the last quest here for five points is withdrawal. This is pretty much the same way as we deposited previously. Go in here. And we're going to withdraw. Choose a withdrawal mode. We're going to select linear here and confirm. I'm going to withdraw max. Actually, no, I'll leave some just in case I'll need it later for something. I don't know. I'm going to withdraw, sign the message. Your withdrawal is not completed yet. Your action is needed. Go to transfer record to finalize. Okay, if you don't see the button claim tokens, just refresh the page and wait a little bit. When the button is active, we can claim tokens and there should be a transaction. Yep, but the gas is very moderate, so this is fine. And after the transaction finalizes, we're going to be done with the mass protocol and we're going to move on to the last application. This is metal swap. For metal swap, we need to open hedging position. Actually, you need to open three hedging swap positions. And after that, provide liquidity. So we're going to the app, connecting the wallet. Be sure to accept TOS. First of all, we need to get some tokens for this application. Here, make sure that you are on linear test net. If you're not, you should be prompt to change the network. And we need to request a wrapped BTC and USDC here, just clicking this button. I'm going to speed this up also. All right. And you can also add the wrapped BTC and USDC to your MetaMask. These tokens, they are only for this application. You cannot use them anywhere else. Let's check. Tokens. Yeah, we got wrapped BTC and USDC. Now we need to perform 
some swaps. Here I'm not sure how this works, but if this button is gray for you, try to refresh a little bit and also check uh, in the bottom left corner whether or not the swap is allowed or not in this direction. If not, try to use USDC for example instead of wrap BTC. The task says that we need three active positions. So what I suggest doing, just use USDC or wrap BTC. Any target size should do. Duration, put more. I don't know whether or not the position will become inactive after this time. You know, they don't check it uh, before it expires. So better be on the safer side and just set uh, the longer duration. Then for the cover parameter, just put whatever. And then we're gonna execute. And currently gas here is absolutely ridiculous. At the moment it's 167 on aggressive. Okay, this executed fast. Second position, I'm gonna do 0.15, same duration, three days. I don't know why this notification is popping up every time. Okay, this is also confirmed. And let's do the last one. Yeah, all of a sudden the button is gray. Let's try to refresh. This is still gray and says red VTC swap not allowed. So if that is the case, you can switch to USDC and do a swap from the USDC side. Also put high duration just in case and execute. Okay, confirmed as well. So swaps should be done. And now we need to provide liquidity. Go into liquidity pools. Create new position. Here you can select the token, but you can just leave it as USDC. Set allowance. I'll just do max just in case. Hopefully, I'm not gonna be using that anytime soon. Okay, allowance is set. Now we need to create position. Oddly, swap gas is higher than the liquidity gas. Okay, confirmed as well. And if you scroll down below, you're gonna see your NFTs. Metal swap liquidity provided uh, 500 USDC and we should be done with the metal swap as well. So that covers all tasks for linear DeFi week. Okay, and now campaigns from two applications who did not participate in DeFi week. First one is Ecodex. You may remember this was the first working DEX. Uh, to my knowledge at least, on Linear Testnet. We actually made a video about this one. There are two campaigns from Ecodex. The first one is for early supporters. In order to participate, you must have Gitcoin Passport, Galaxy Passport, or made 10 plus transactions on Ethereum mainnet. For that, you will get 100 points, and there are also 35 points for other social activities. This campaign is running until 20th of July. And the second campaign is Ecodex with partners. Uh, this is a simple raffle for 1000 USD that's going to be rewarded for uh, 50 participants. As you can see currently, you probably can't see because of my camera, only 350 people are participating at this very moment and campaign is ending on 9th of July. So actually, Chances of winning free 20 USD here are pretty decent. And also all tasks here are social. Just follow on Twitter, join in Discord, and you are done. And the second application is Horizon Dex. They're also holding linear early supporter campaign. For this one, you need to like, retweet, and tag three friends on a specific tweet, then claim some tokens at the foreset. 
test features like swap, liquidity, then join the Discord and then go to this link and provide your proof. And you should be done with this one as well. And they also launched the Zilli alongside with the Zilli campaign. You can check it in this tweet. And there's also a role in this one, the Horizon Sailor. So that's going to be all for Linear Voyage DeFi week. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please drop a like and share the video and see you next time.